that's going to help them get the most points. What was different about the attack today? Was, I mean, obviously, it's a great end product, but in the build-up, what was different for you guys? We did a better job of uh, you know, pressing them and, and, and fouling, too. You know, just just giving, giving our child, ourselves a chance to, to get behind the ball, also just being on the toes, making the game difficult. Uh, and you know, when we got the ball in the attack in third, you know, being patient, not just getting the ball away. Being smart with it, and picking and choosing our moments when to really, you know, take more risk. And uh, I thought we were more kind of in front of goal, and at the same time, we, we deserved the, the result because I thought we played well. How do you think your partnership with Jersey is developing? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's always you know we're trying to figure out what our best eleven is, and that, you know, it's about the, the partnerships that we have on the field with everybody. Uh, but I thought you know having Michael back was big for us, uh, and it, it, it was good to. Uh, to, to get the win, like I said. So uh, we're still a work in progress. We're still trying to figure out what our best time is going to be. We still got to hold ourselves to a higher st standard and not concede those two goals that we conceded uh, late on in the game. So uh, you know, we're going to look at the positives and the negatives and, and strengthen and you know, take care of business in these next three games. Do we usually further along in terms of knowing what the team's best is? I think it always is changing. I think we need to make sure that we qualify for the World Cup. Uh, that's a must. But, uh, you know, you look at back in 2006, I wasn't really a guy that was in the frame. And it was kind of after the team had qualified for the World Cup that I kind of was able to break in a little bit. And I was really a late addition. So it was to show you, you know, that anything can happen. And hopefully there's some guys that are coming up that, you know, will do that. But at the same time, hopefully there's some guys here that uh, show that they deserve to be here. And uh, that's, that's the grind of it all, making sure that you're in that 11, that you're in that team coming, you know, you know the World Cup. So, but we got to qualify first. But win on the centennial for the United States. Yeah, I mean, it's good that you know to win uh, against a good team like this and to win in a game that marks 100 years. Uh, you know, soccer in this country. Uh, we want to showing that the game is moving in the right direction. Uh, but you know, and it gives us confidence going into these World Cup qualifying games. So uh, the most important thing is that you know we do well in those games and make sure we qualify for the World Cup. Both goals. Uh, the first one was a great ball in from Josie. Uh, just wanted to take my time with it, make sure I kept it hard and low. Uh, and then the second one, I was trying to get a shot with my right foot, and cut it back. It looked like I was going to get blocked if I took, took a shot with the right foot. Just trying to bend it for a post, and uh, you know, went in. In the uh, press conference, Coach Smith said it's a privilege to have you on his team as a player. What does that mean to hear that from your boss? Yeah, it's great. I mean, the time we have, you know, a manager who's done so much as a player. And, him to say that he believes in you or and believes in this team, it does give the team confidence. So uh, that's that, that's huge, and we just got to continue learning from learning from him and his experience, and also from Andy and, and the other guys that, that we have on the staff. And us as a team, we keep moving, keep working, keep playing with confidence, and not being you know scared to take risk and uh, you know take advantage of this, the opportunities that we have in front of ourselves. So the way that we can do that is with these next three games. And what were the like the biggest adjustments you made? from the Belgium game to today, and how were you able to make them so quickly? It was our mentality. It was just saying, you know, we got to be more aggressive. we got to be in the face. we got to make the game difficult for them. we got to foul a little bit more. You know, break up plays sometimes because, you know, it slows the game down, and they were able to get a little bit of rest. But also, I thought we did a better job of just keeping possession, being more smart uh, in the, you know, attacking third, and picking and choosing our moments, really, to take more risk. and. Uh, you know, we, we finished well today and we, we scored four, four goals. So that's six goals in two games. So that's good. And hopefully we can carry that into those World Cup qualifying games. But on the flip side of that, we conceded seven goals in two games. And we need to do a better job of that because we got to limit uh, the goal scoring you know, chances and the goals that we conceded if we want to have a chance of uh, getting results out of those next four games. Yeah, it feels good. You know, uh, it, it shows that. You know, you're doing a good job, but uh, you know, more importantly, you know, I just want to qualify for right. this team for the World Cup. I really want to do well, you know, when we qualify, hopefully we do, uh, do well in, in this next World Cup, because to me that would be more special than being on the list. Yeah. Good, congratulations. Thank you so much.